adding a new column to your pandas data frame. So often you'll have your piece of data, but you wanna add new things to it. And this could be a derived column from your original data frame, or maybe you're adding in new data. Either way, you're gonna be appending or adding data to your data frame all the time. And here we'll show you how to add a new column to your data frame. So first thing that I'll do is I'll import pandas as PD, and then I'm going to create my data frame. And this data frame is going to be a list of restaurants in San Francisco. And you can see here that I have a name column for the name of the restaurant, the type of establishment that it is, and then the average bill. And so the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna create a new column for the day of the week that this restaurant was visited. Now what you'll see here is the first method to add a new column name is to simply just pass a new column to the data frame and then you can set it to either a scalar, which is just gonna be a single value, or a list of values. So notice here how day is not included in my original data frame, but I'm calling it here and I'm assigning it the value of Monday. Now I'll go ahead and run this. And what you can see is that now a new day column has been added and every single entry within that column is Monday because I just passed a scalar here. Now, alternatively, what you can do is you can actually pass a list of values. So here I'll call the same day column, which is gonna overwrite what is currently there. And I'm gonna pass it a list of values, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And you'll notice that my list is actually the same length as the data frame, which you'll need to make sure that this happens or else you get an error that says the two don't match up. I'll run this. And what we get here is we get Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and it goes in order that the list was um, written out there. The next method that you can do is you can do what is called DF insert. And so insert is nice because then you can actually pick where you want the column to appear. You'll notice that when I added a new column, it immediately went to the end in the first method. But here I can specify location equals one. So this will actually be the index one. And remember that pandas or Python in general starts at location index equals zero. So this is gonna put the column right in between name and type. My new column is gonna be called stars and I'm gonna pass it four values, um, which is just the number of stars that the restaurant receives. I'll go ahead and run this. And here we have our new column inserted right in between name and type with the stars and then the values going down from there. The other way you could do this is with DF assign. And so DF assign is nice because you can actually pass multiple columns. Here we'll just do one, but I'm gonna call a new column name, which is uh, average half of the bill. And I'm gonna pass a Lambda function. And this Lambda function is gonna take the average bill column that we have right here and just divide it by two. Run this. And here we have a new column that is average half bill, which is gonna be just the uh, average bill divided by two here. Next thing that we could do is we could also pass a data frame. So in this case, I'm gonna insert the months that the restaurant was visited. And here I'm gonna call a new uh, column and I'm actually gonna pass a dictionary. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, passing a dictionary to your data frame. So here we'll have January, February, April, and December. And I'll go ahead and run this. And our month is January, February, April, and December. Now notice here for uh, cleanliness, I just put in the, uh, the the value is the restaurant name. However, on this last one, it's just square, whereas the value here is just square, is the square. And so you don't actually need to put in uh, the correct name here. You could have something random and you'd still get the exact same, um, exact same entry. And then the last way that we'll do this, which is not recommended, is you could actually use uh, .loc, .lock. And so here, usually .lock is meant for referencing certain values within your data frame. And here I'm using it to assign values and in fact, assign a an entirely new column. Now, this is not recommended and this is why it's number five. I would try one of the other four first. Go ahead and run this. And you can see here that year was not in the data frame beforehand, but we passed it four new values and then it insert as a new column for us right there. So there are five ways to insert a column into a pandas data frame.